and his challenge and response captain takas main samajh mein nahi aa raha yaar kya takas ho kar expedite departure ye takas takas laga hua hai fir mere ko wahan dikha ke no memo project pe theek hai so okay ta aa rahi that's what i'll tell you there's a call out challenge and this one hello ladies and gentlemen your captain speaking from flight deck my name is captain surender singh welcome aboard the plane talking sit back relax and enjoy your journey Okay, now we'll start with the topic TCAS, Traffic Collision Avoidance System. Okay, before we go to Traffic Collision Avoidance System, we will see a video of Charkhi Dadri crash. Anyone is aware of Charkhi Dadri crash? Okay, because before this crash, TCAS was not mandatory in Indian airspace, but after this incident. the tickets in indian airspace was mandatory there were a lot of lessons in fact in this video and his challenge and response captain takas main samajh mein nahi aa raha yaar kya takas ho kar expedite departure ye takas takas laga hua hai fir mere ko wahan dikha ke no memo project pe theek hai so okay ta aa rahi that's what i'll tell you there is a call out challenge and response so sometimes we really wonder that person must be flying for with so many people nobody pointed out nobody corrected him wo apna takas छकास ओके मैं अभी क्यों करूं मैंने कहा ठीक है टकास अब अगले टेक ऑफ में मुझे पता था टकास ये टकास ही बोलेगा इट इज टिकास स्टैंड्स फॉर ट्रैफिक कोलिजन अवॉइडेंस सिस्टम द टेक्निकल नेम फॉर दिस इक्विपमेंट इज वी कॉल इट एज एकास दैट इज अ टेक्निकल नेम दिस इज नॉर्मली व्हाट वी यूज कमर्शियली टिकास but technical name is aca stands for airborne collision avoidance system and normally in the cockpit i showed you yesterday one side is etc one side is tcas so both equipment are interfaced together in the aircraft that's how the equipment is normally it is on the same panel of transponder in cessna you don't have tcas so you have only transponder panel okay now what it does it gives you indications oral and visual both traffic 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 con con so that's the audio which you hear in the cockpit con con now descend descend now con cross and con descend Awesome. You get this audio plus all the traffic around you. You can see in different symbol color code that we will see as we progress further. So if you are flying here, you can see all the aircraft around. Okay, what this color code, what these symbols are, we will see that. Okay, and plus it tells you what to do. It will tell you to climb or descend. What in this? All you need to do is climb. How much climb? To maintain in this screen. to stay in safe here it is telling you to to descend so it generates both oral and visual indication now how it works let's see what is the principle principle for this is secondary radar so in any secondary radar you have interrogator and you have transponder and you have two frequencies interrogator and transponder now your equipment what is tcas equipment 
पीपल से ट्रैफिक कोलिजन अवॉइडिंग सिस्टम वट इट इज ये है क्या सो योर टी कैस इज एन इंटेरोगेटर विच इंटेरोगेट्स एट वन जीरो थ्री जीरो मेगा हर्ट्स प्लस इट इज अ प्रोसेसर इट इंटेरोगेट्स रिसीव द इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेस इज इट एंड इट इज कंपेयर विद योर ओन पोजिशन एंड देन ऑल द एयरक्राफ्ट अराउंड यू डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द पैरामीटर्स दे आर शोन इन डिफरेंट सिंबल विच आर स्टैंडर्ड सिंबल एंड एनी टाइम एयरक्राफ्ट कम्स इन टू द डेंजरस प्रॉक्सिमिटी क्लोज प्रॉक्सिमिटी टू एनी पोटेंशियल ट्रैफिक इट विल जनरेट ऑरल एंड विजुअल इंडिकेशन एंड इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेज इट इज एबल टू प्रिवेंट एनी कोल्यूशन इट इज येस्टेड इन द वीडियो वी सॉ इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ एनी ग्राउंड स्टेशन एनी रेडार इट इज स्टैंड अलोन स्टैंड अलोन मीन्स इट इज प्योरली योर इक्विपमेंट ऑन द एयरक्राफ्ट विच इज देयर एंड इट इट कैन कीप यू सेफ so basically the tcas part when you talk about it is an interrogator okay which interrogates all the aircraft flying within the range at 1030 megahertz and it works in conjunction with already existing transponder you already have that on board that's why the half side is normally when it is designed because both are working together so if any aircraft is interrogating my aircraft transponder will apply at 1090 megahertz so the transponder is replying 1090 so both work together so which frequency band it works it is 300 to 3000 megahertz so it works in uhf band that so frequency band is uhf band you says na or the smaller aircraft they don't have tcas but you have a transponder so if any aircraft around you is interrogating they will be able to see this na han ji thank you director sir pata chala pura video banane ke baad oh ho tcas comprises of an interrogator which will interrogate at 1030 30 megahertz and it is a basically a simple processor which processes the information so this interrogator is doing what the moment you put the tcas to the whatever the position is tara we will see what is tra it will start interrogating all the aircraft around this at frequency of 1030 30 megahertz this is the exact principle that your flight radar app works they got how license for thousands of those receiver they can only receive they cannot interfere with the thing and then they compile processes and present you the information let's say you are in a small aircraft where you have only transponder any system which is interrogating at 1030 what will happen your transponder will reply if it is got mode c information it will transmit altitude information also correct so the transponder will reply at what 1090 megahertz in your present position and your altitude now this system this information is available it is receiving that plus aircraft it is got own depending upon the type of transponder whether it is a mode if it is a mode s transponder or mode c transponder you will always have altitude information available so basically you have your own information also available from the aircraft sensor you have all the aircraft which are responding you have information available from them also now it can be processed it is shown you either on electronic flight instrumentation system which we call it glass cockpit in that we will study if is also electronic flight instrumentation system we have something called navigation display position of all the aircraft if they are flying around you in different symbols what the symbols are we will see that later don't worry whether it is a scale or whether it is a circle or whether it is a diamond so this position of all the aircraft relative position is shown on if is electronic flight instrumentation system any time the aircraft comes in a potentially conflicting situation 
that time the system also generates an audio which you heard traffic traffic climb descend increase climb decrease climb because the processor is continuously processing the information my position and the other aircraft around me what is the position because it sends come distance is known altitude is also known through mode s so it is continuously calculating as the system sees that one aircraft is in this path and the other is in this path coming they are conflicting it will generate audio and visual indications for you but otherwise all the aircraft which are responding you within the range normally it is up to 14 nautical mile now it is gone up to 18 nautical mile also in the modern aircraft but in smaller aircraft it is about 12 nautical mile we will see the time is sufficient in most of these cases tcas is able to prevent any type of collision now coming back to this this is let's say smaller aircraft cessna which is only got transponder will you able to see no but will this aircraft will be able to see yes that's what happens many time when you fly even a bigger aircraft or something you go to a place bhopal indore or some where you have flight school aircraft are flying so you can actually see on the tcas let's see if i switch off transponder this information is not available so you'll be able to see only those aircraft whose transponder is on this is i took the example simple example where the aircraft is flying only with the transponder but imagine this aircraft is also got tcas let's say this aircraft is got tcas so this aircraft is also got capability to interrogate all aircraft around this and it will interrogate at what frequency 1030 megahertz okay that is the frequency of the interrogator plus this equipment because it is fitted with the tcas it has got its own processor also it can obtain the information process it and it can show the then the display also and it can generate audio also so now what will happen this aircraft is also interrogating at what frequency 1030 30 megahertz if this aircraft is flying for it will apply to for this interrogation pulses at what frequency 1090 megahertz so what happens this aircraft is also receiving the information so basically both equipment are talking to each other they are communicating with each other so their relative position altitude closure rate everything is being calculated either it is shown on if is and in many small aircraft where you don't have glass cockpit or you may have a separate tcas display wait let me show you so either you have a display like this electronic flight instrumentation system glass cockpit so basically this is my own aircraft all the aircraft around me are shown or in many aircraft you will find you have a separate display you see on this so normally in these aircraft maximum range is 12 nautical mile my own position and all the aircraft around me the symbols are same they are standard symbol so let's say i have my tcas display so my position so it may be on ifs or may be on tcas display and now obviously in this aircraft also now the system is capable of generating audio information traffic traffic climb climb descend descend all that information this is the basic working principle of how tcas works so let's say if there are 10 aircraft 20 aircraft all equipment are interacting with each other their ready position is shown any time they come to conflicting position obviously the system is capable to prevent the collision clear on this so either it will generate there is something is called ta traffic advisory or it is called resolution advisory